Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about ash rate, winter and summer temperatures. All right, let's get into it. All right, to begin with, we need, so from the other videos, we saw that we have three options. So let's put in here in yellow. So let's put in here in yellow. So anytime that anyone is doing a design, Okay, we're always gonna need the outdoor conditions. Okay, outdoor conditions. But we have outdoor conditions and indoor conditions. Usually for the indoor conditions, we have that the indoor temperature has to be 70 degrees and 75 degrees in summer and 50% relative humidity. Okay, so that's gonna be for winter, summer and relative humidity. Okay, but what about for the outdoor? So on the other videos, we explained that if we don't know the outdoor conditions, we have three different sources, okay? Number one, number two, number three. So source number one is manual J, okay? So manual J, and then we're gonna put the link in the description below. We have the energy star, energy star, and then number three, we have the ASHRAE fundamentals. ASHRAE, see ASHRAE fundamentals. So they they call it ASHRAE weather data. So let's put ASHRAE weather data. Okay, weather data. Okay, weather data. So we have these three, three different sources. So for this video, we're specifically gonna be talking about the ASHRAE weather data. Okay, so let's start with this and let's let's talk about this. So we're gonna put this in green and okay. So what you see on the right is the is extracted from ASHRAE fundamentals. Okay, so from ASHRAE fundamentals and I'm gonna put the, uh, the link in the description below and also in the second part of the video, we're gonna see where to obtain this data for free and it's online and it's very effective, okay? So as you can see, there are so many different numbers, but in order to uh, in, in order to simplify this, you only need this temperature one and temperature two. That's why this is the HVAC easy math. Otherwise, it would be HVAC difficult math. Okay, so temperature one is going to be for winter. So what is my design temperature for winter? Temperature two is going to be for summer. What is my design temperature for summer? Okay, so for winter, in this winter is located right here. Heating, see? because in winter you need heating, and this is my temperature. Okay, so this is 19.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have two options. You have the options, the option of choosing at 99 percent or 99 percentile or 99.6 percentile. So in other words, if, if you want to be more conservative, you can choose 99.6 percentile, which is going to give you a lower value, see 15.9. So you are being more uh, conservative, but 99 is usually good. Okay, 99, 19.2 Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's put that in here. Temperature one is 19.2 Fahrenheit. That's for winter, but however, we need to emphasize this too, that this is at 99 percentile. Okay, so percentiles, in this case, we're talking about the frequency of occurrence. Okay, but we don't want to go more into specifics. We want to make this simple. So now what about for summer? For summer, we're talking about cooling, right? We want to do cooling. So for summer, we have more options. 0.4 percentile, 1%, 2%. So we're going to choose, since we're doing 99%, we're going to use 1%. Percentile. So this one percent, this one percent means that the temperature will go only one percent probability above this number. So let's put in here. There we go. So H back is mat. There you go. We have my two temperatures: temperature one and temperature two. There we go. 
and I should I just I should finish this video right now. No, just kidding. But now let's continue. 93. That's going to be 93.1 Fahrenheit. Okay. So that's going to be for summer, and then we're going to put our percentage. So this is going to be one percent. Well, if you want to be more conservative, you can always choose instead of one percent. You can choose 0.4 percent. See, the temperature is higher, 96. So, how can you remember this 99 percent and 1 percent application? Always, when you're talking about these percentiles, you always have to think above. I'm gonna give you this trick because honestly, even I used to get so confused, very confused on in this case. So, we're gonna choose in here another color. Let's put green. So, this means above above so what does that mean so it indicates that there is a 90 percent chance that this temperature the temperature will go above this number in here there's only one percent chance that this that the temperature will go above this design temperature all right so now that we have our two uh our two main temperatures we're going to talk a little bit more about this uh, table. So that's going to be very quick, actually, now that we have everything selected. So let's put this in pink again. All right. So for this table, I know everyone is kind of wondering, why did you choose Davidson? See, in here you can see Davidson, AAF, Virginia. Okay. So in order to get, in order to know what the design temperature is, First of all, okay, we're going to put this as a star. You need the location. That's the first step. Okay, location. So in this case, the location that I chose for this, that, that I chose for this video is Fairfax, Virginia. Fairfax, Virginia. Okay, you can choose Dubai. You can choose India, you can choose any place in the world. It's the concept is the same. Okay. Number one, you need the location. Okay. Based on the location. Number two is going to be to which one are you going to choose? Usually for commercial, you will use ASRAE for residential manual J or energy star. All right. But they are pretty much the same values. Now in, after you select that, you have this information so in here this information is divided into four parts the first three see number one is annual number two is annual and number three is annual so the first annual is heating the second annual is cooling and the third annual is extreme so annual heating annual cooling extreme annual conditions Okay, so number four is the monthly climatic data. So this is pretty much an average January, February, March. But let's think about this annual heating for the annual heating. You have in here the coldest month in here. You have a number number one, number one uh, represents January, number two, February. If you have a number six in here, that would mean June. Then in here, you also have the humidity ratio. You also have in here uh, the wind speed. This is the wind speed. And you also have the mean coincident wind, wind speed. Okay, we can go deeper on this, but we're just analyzing what is in every single uh, part. The number two for annual cooling, we have the evaporation. Again, see, again, we have the evaporation right here. We have the same thing. Wind speed, WS is wind speed. And then you have dehumidification, dew point. So in here we have dew point. And then you have in here another data, enthalpy, enthalpy. Okay. So, so now what we're going to do is for the third part, we have the extreme annual conditions, especially in here we have in the beginning wind speed, WS is wind speed. Now extreme annual temperature, you see in here we have the minimum and the maximum the dry bulb would be what's the maximum temperature as of now my temperature is 93.1 fahrenheit so for extreme annual design conditions we have 99.4 based on who on the location fairfax virginia 
could be London, could be Bolivia. Now for winter we have 19.2, but in the mean extreme we have 60.2 drive bulb degrees Fahrenheit okay now for the next part of the video we're gonna go check on where to find this online all right let's continue with that to Google and in Google we're gonna put ash ray see ash ray design design temperature all right see ash ray design temperature and also I'm gonna put the the link in the description below Asray Climatic Design Conditions. That's the first option. See, it's Asray METEO info. So we click on that. And then for Asray, we have different years 2009, 2013, 2017, 2021, depending again on the location. So once you have the location, you can always, you can always find, find out what is the version of international mechanical code they are using. Sometimes they use international mechanical code 2018, 2015, or they could all you can always find out that more information with the client or with the jurisdiction it's it's okay so now you can either select 2013 or 2017 see that's number one ashray so number two let's check on the location so location in here is the following we're gonna put fairfax fairfax County. There we go, Fairfax, Virginia. So we click on it. And then once you do that, you're going to be able to choose, since we are in the United States, this is the IP units. In IP units means like inch pound. Or if you are in India, you have SI units, metric system. You can always choose whichever works best for you. Or in Dubai, the same thing, SI units, international system. So now that I put the weather location, so the ASRAE is, is giving me options. So as you can see in here, you have option A, B, C, D, E. Those are weather stations, weather locations. So on this side, on the left side, you, you, you're going to be able to find what is the closest weather station related to the location. So in this case, it's Dav uh, Davidson. See? Air Force. Once you click on it and you scroll down, right? You click here and you scroll down. You have this based on 2017 Asray Handbook Fundamentals IP units. You have all the information there that we were talking about actually in the video. So this was our four annual, annual, annual and extreme annual. And we have our monthly climate design conditions. If you want to go deeper on this, it's all good. Okay. So now, for example, let's take another example. We want to check on Dubai. See, we put Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So let's do that. And then you can see in here the Palm Beach, I think. See, it's very nice, actually. Okay. So uh, uh, artificial islands. Okay. So now in here, since we are in Dubai, we're not going to use IP. We're going to use SI. So we do SI and you have the one, two, three, four different weather location, weather stations. Okay. So the closest one is A. So we're going to put Dubai International United, uh, might be the airport. And then you click down and you're going to be able to find out what are your the outdoor design temperatures. As we know already, we only HVAC is in math, make it easy. So heating, we have 14.2 degrees Celsius degrees. For cooling, you have at one percentile, you have 41.8. And then for extreme annual, you have these numbers right here. Wind speed is here and you have all the information right there. Okay. So you can always select 2013, 2009, see, array data. Instead of going to the book itself. Now let's check one last example. Let's say India, Mumbai, Mumbai. So Mumbai, India. So if you go to India, you have different weather locations, stations. So... Uh, Station number A is the closest one, one kilometer. And you have in here the information for Mumbai, 
Airport. I mean Mumbai. ¿Sí? Heating, cooling, extreme annual and monthly design conditions. ¿Ok? And one last thing. If you want to find out more about this or each variable, for example, wind speed, mean coincident arrival, if you want to find out more, you always have in here the Azure Climatic Design Conditions. It will explain to you more about it. What is everything? It will give you more information. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button and share and subscribe. All right. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.